Gato, and, and when I went to Gato, like, he was like, oh, that's a great idea. And a little bit of me was, like, sad, like, I mean, I don't know, because I wasn't there, but a little bit was sad, like, oh, like, I wish he would have been like, oh, of course we're going to do that. But it was brought to him, it was presented to him, and he was like, yeah, of course. Um, and so that's kind of how, to, how it came about. Um, and so I, I'm so excited. I, I think um, to get my creativity going is something I really enjoy doing. So I know putting these matches together and tagging yeah. Diano and all the comedy bits and even the non-comedy bits. And um, I, I'm hoping it's every match is a must-see match. You know, it's a three-week tour. It's going to be a long tour. And I just hope it's, we do different and weird stuff every night. And, you know, my, when I was maybe five years in the business like I had this weird like oh maybe someone will take me to Japan and I'll become this weird star like this American star you know you just that's how you think um, and I, I ended up I ended up going and wrestling for Noah for four or five years but you never, I never became this larger than life star in Japan you were just a part of the crew and then I wrestled for DDT and it was pretty good and now um, I, I think this might 20 years 21 years into wrestling this might be an opportunity where it becomes this cult thing of myself and Yano and uh, I think it already started, so I'm excited to see where it goes, and, and hopefully it goes further in the future. So you know? said something about uh, your creativity. How's the general general feedback you know, on the uh, unauthorized show? I thought it was great. The ROH unauthorized show. Yeah. A lot of really. It was a lot of fun from start to finish. It was great. I've gotten a lot of it's a lot of uh, fun, and I yeah. thought it was fun. I did get some weird messages of like, what is this crap? Oh, really? You know, and, oh, and there is, there's always going to be negativity. Yeah. So I was a little, afterwards I thought it was so fun, but... There is a little of like, oh man, like you don't want to let anybody down, man. And I do understand the idea of, you know what Ring of Honor is, yeah. and it's been sold that way for so long. And then you, all of a sudden you give them this different product of this weird show. And I think, it was, I think people who came to Ring of Honor for the first time and were sold on it, like, hey, it's like straight, great, amazing wrestling. And right. Ingrid Combine is coming off the top rope with an elbow. Right. You might be like, what is this? But, uh, I thought the idea of bring on in a hole and then you have this one offshoot that you know I'm posting so you know it's going to be weird. Right. I had a great time. Everyone in the back. When I came to the back after that match, uh, Gilbert just flashed. <laughs> when I came to the back after that uh, that 10 man tag where Sinclair did a leap frog, there was a sellout on the monitor. The place went. There's a standing ovation. And those are the moments you like as a wrestler when. When, when the other wrestlers appreciate, they call it being a wrestler's wrestler. When, when you have the attention of the other wrestlers and they love what's going on, then you know something's going right. So I, I think that was what I needed. Even though there was some negativity on Twitter and stuff, but the the, the re, uh, affirmation of my colleagues, I think, was cool. Cole, you. Uh with the NWA power and everything like that, how has it been, like, for the past couple of weeks, you've kind of taken a little bit more of a serious role onto it. Yeah. How has that been, like, just being in the studio environment of that, as well as just, like, having, using your serious aspect to the side of things? Yeah, you know, people, I, I don't know if it's not enough credit, but um, I can wrestle anyway. Like, you know, like, <laughs> you want me to be serious? I'll be serious. You want me to, I, but if you leave it up to me, I will be the goofball that I am. That's the wrestling I prefer. But Billy Corrigan has a vision, and that's his vision. I respect it, and I'm in that role, and I'm going to do that role for him. And I'm going to enjoy it, because I love wrestling. And so I have no problem doing that. And I and I, I enjoy it to an aspect. Of, like, if it's up to me, I'm doing Yano all day, you know. But um, I do like the other aspects, and I do like building stories. You know, years ago, a lot of people... Remember, uh, remember me for a feud I had with Homicide where it started very silly and then it ended up in this crazy match uh, with the Drano and then this crazy barbed wire match and that was a beautiful story and I love telling that story so I love getting into that long form and long term storytelling um, but the way I've kind of padded out my career the last 10 years I'm such a journeyman and I'm so all over the place I don't really have that opportunity to tell those long stories so uh, with NWA I, you know they have it really down, they want to tell these stories, and I'm, I'm definitely along the ride, and I look forward to maybe doing something super, super, super serious where you didn't really expect it, and you haven't seen it in, in a long time. Let's do so, two more guys. With all these different avenues that you're at, NWA, Ring of Honor, all this stuff, are we still going to see you around the Indies? So, because I remember getting the interview back home in Taylor when you wrestled uh, Superstar Bill Martell from BCW. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I think that's what people know me as, like, um, and I pride myself on it, and I've had all these different contract opportunities. 
and a lot of times I turn it down just because I know I won't be able to do the weird shows. Uh, as much as I love doing TV and all and the high profile stuff, I love the gathering of the juggalos. I love, you know, I just love doing weird shows in Mexico and Canada and these Canada tours. Uh, to me, that's just as fun as doing the higher profile stuff. And to me, that's wrestling. So I'm always very careful of making sure I don't put myself in a box or a corner that I don't want to be in because I, I want to do the other stuff. I love being on the road. I love doing weird stuff. I love independent wrestling. It's so weird. I love it. It's, it's so cool. Good to hear. Yeah. Colt, any Last one, guys. On, yeah. Any thoughts on the reemergence of the legend Soul Trade Jones? <laughs> uh, I had so I had a laugh just like you did. I hopefully and. Um, that's what I love about All Elite Wrestling. That's what I love about the Bucks since day one, is they don't take themselves so seriously. They know, they get the joke, and they're presenting that kind of humor on TNT. And again, you know, uh, an unwise man once told me funny don't equal money, and I was out to prove him wrong. And, um, you know, maybe I didn't get to prove him wrong by uh, getting a show on TNT, you know, completely, but... Um, the, the Young Bucks, too, who also dislike this funny equals money, man. Uh, they've also uh, figured out how to do it, and obviously it's working, and I think it's so cool. So uh, I'm all about Soul Train Jones. Uh, I'm all about those breadsticks and, and the meat sauce, and so uh, we're happy to see him get another run. Glad to see he was on national television in his sweatpants. Killing it. Killing it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Colt. Thanks.